An ambulance crew en route to pick up a patient in Wales was left stranded for four hours after their vehicle broke down and no one could come rescuing them because of fuel shortages. Two employees of the Cartello Ambulance, a small company that owns two vehicles in Wales, had to give up on their shift last Monday due to the current nationwide fuel panic buying. Sharing their story on Facebook, Seren Williams and her colleague Tia Richards Moore were supposed to pick a patient up from Isbati Glan Cluid when their ambulance broke down out of the blue. The pair immediately contacted their company requesting help. but the vehicle that was supposed to come to fetch them did not have enough fuel in reserve to reach them and come back. After ringing a recovery truck, the two employees were once again told that due to the fuel shortages, no vehicle was available to help them. Seren and Tia waited for four hours by the road until a couple offered them a lift back to the ambulance depot. The diesel situation is getting beyond a joke, wrote Williams on Facebook. One less ambulance on the road because of people's selfishness and panic buying that isn't needed. Think before you fill up, do you really need to? Interviewed by the local Daily Post, Ms. Williams expressed her frustration as collateral damage of the recent panic buying. It's ridiculous at the minute that emergency services and vital services can't get fuel because people are panicking that there is a shortage, she said. There wasn't a shortage until people started being ridiculous with how much fuel they were buying. It's making our jobs a lot harder and it's worrying for everyone not knowing if we are going to be able to do our jobs. Although labor and health professionals have asked Boris Johnson to give health and care workers priority at pumps, the PM's spokesman reinstated that it was not necessary for now. In the immediate term, the approach which will have the most significant impact would be for people to move more to their routine behaviors when it comes to filling up the cars, said Downing Street. With the Petrol Retailers Association PRA, reporting early signs that the crisis was coming to an end, Boris Johnson expressed confidence the worst was over. The Prime Minister told Sky News, we're now starting to see the situation improve. We're hearing from the fuel industry that supplies are coming on to the forecourts in the usual way. We want to make sure we have all the preparations necessary to get through to Christmas and beyond, not just in supplying the petrol stations but in all parts of our economy. You're seeing the global economy sucking in a huge amount of demand for gas, for lorry drivers. We've got to make sure that we have everything in place. 